West Point is always looking for a good man. Sometimes a good man takes the initiative and seeks out the United States Military Academy. I wrote to uh, Representative Ramsey and, and uh, uh, described my uh, uh, school record and the fact that I wanted to try for an appointment to uh, West Point. There was a, a, mo uh, a an effort made and to organize Ranger units to be attached to U.S. divisions in Korea. They were a special breed of man, and one that I was, I must say, extremely proud of. They had courage, nerve, physical ability. They were good with their weapons. My platoon you know, was going to get swallowed up by these two companies, and so I decided I well, wouldn't let that happen, and so we attacked. This was a few times where an army officer had the opportunity to interview every man in his command and decide that this was a man he wanted, wanted his command. So it was truly rare. And I was fortunate to be, be chosen for the 8th Airborne Ranger Company under the command of then Captain James Herbert. We got a, a message from division get out the best way you can. Well, we were blocked on the ridge. And so I sized up the situation best I could and decided our only, our only hope really was to attack through this Chinese line that was there to catch us. And it was a furious firefight, I will tell you. It was fairly early in the attack when I got wounded. I was shot through the neck, through the shoulder, and through the arm, and uh, bleeding quite a bit. Medic told me that he never had any instructions about what to do if somebody got shot through the neck. He said, just put your thumb and forefinger in the holes. So we walked out down the ridge and down to the uh, valley and a tank platoon uh, was there waiting for us. And without that tank platoon, we would all have been prisoners or killed. The Army plays a significant role in nation building. Soldiers often build new societies while the fighting continues. The service to uh, the population in terms of schools, in terms of refugee assistance, in terms of agriculture, getting windmills in there, uh, getting uh, uh, irrigation uh, efforts going. I, I think perhaps the busiest part, segment of it was uh, trying to put wells in every hamlet so that the women wouldn't have to go four, five miles carrying the water. Authors and historians will define his military legacy, but his life is a collection of memories. How will this man be defined? It was walk, walk, walk with Jim Herbert. The other thing was he took uh, he took no prisoners. He was uh, he expected every man to be well disciplined, and this was a well disciplined uh, company. Probably I should be remembered as someone who was blessed with a very special army wife, and her name is Alice. As a ranger, Brigadier General James A. Herbert has led the way.